magandang araw mga kaguro. Ito po muli si Teacher Ivy SG. Ngayon po ay ipipresent ko po sa inyo yung ginawa ko pong summative test or written words sa Science 5 for second quarter. Okay, so milk-based na po siya. At uh, mayroon na po itong toss and answer key or keto, keto correction. Okay, so let's start po sa first written word in science 5. So for test 1, I, uh, the pupils will going to uh, write through if the statement is correct and false if it's, if it's incorrect, incorrect. So for numbers 1 to 5, so... So, sulat lang nila yung true or false. Uh, next, I test to matching type for number 6 to 10. So, match that part of the male reproductive system in column A with its function in column B. So, write the letter of the correct answer before the number. For test 3 naman, I multiple choice. So, they're going to choose the letter of the correct answer. So, write the answer in the space provided before each number. So, for numbers 11 to 15. Next, I, for test 4, so, uh, i-identify naman ng mga bata ang menstrual phase referred to in each statement. So, they're going to choose the answer from the box below. So, instead na buong word, yung isusulat nila, they're going to uh, write only the letter of the correct answer on the space provided before each number. So, letter lang ang isusulat nila. So, yan yung pagpipilian from A, B, C, and D. Next, we have the test 5, fill in the blanks. Still, so, meron pa rin itong choices, so... So, choose the answer from the box below. So after nyan, so we have the key to correction. For first written word. Ito yung key to correction. After ng key to correction, ay yung table of specification or yung toss natin. So, gumawa na rin po ako nyan. Next, ay yung second written word. So, for test 1, I multiple choice. So, read the sentences carefully and circle the letter of the best answer. So, bibilugan lang ng mga bata. Yung uh, best answer or correct answer. So, that is uh, uh, for numbers 1 to 1 to uh, 11. Next, we have test 2. So, they will uh, uh they will describe the mode of reproduction in frogs by sequencing the following events according to or correct order. So, isusulat nila 12 to 16 on the block. Next, for test 3, draw a happy face if the statement in each uh, sentence is correct and sad face if incorrect. So, happy and sad face lang ang isasagot ng bata. So, draw nila, no? Hindi isusulat yung word na happy or sad face. For test 3 naman, they are going to identify the term being described. No? So, may choices sa iba ba para mas madaling masagutan ng mga bata. Next, we have the key to correction and also, the table of specification or TOS. Hmm. Yan po yung TOS na second written word. Then afterwards, meron po tayo dito third written word. Yan. For test 1, sequencing. So, they're going to arrange the steps that refer to the different modes of moss and fern reproduction. So, write 1 to 5 on the blank for moss plant. So, for, uh, for per, uh, fern plant naman, for fern plant, ang um, ilalagay ng mga bata ay 6 to 10. Next ay, test to write facts if the statement in each sentence is correct and bluff naman if incorrect. Okay, so write the uh, facts and bluff word lang. For test 3, so 
multiple choice. So, read the sentence carefully. And circle the letter of the correct answer. So, in circle lang nila. 16. For number 16 to 25 na ito. Then, we have, uh, again, yung ito correction. And, toss. Ito po yung Kito Correction. 1, 2, 25. And this is the TOS for third written work in science. Then finally, we have the fourth written work. So for test 1, true or false lang ang uh, isusulat ng bata. So for numbers 1, 2, uh, 1, 2, 10. For test 2 naman, alam, uh, check or cross lang ang uh, isasagot ng bata. So, put a check if the given activity each number can threaten the system structure and function sustainability, sustainability of these estuaries and intertidal zones and cross if not. Okay. So, they're going to write the correct answer on the space provided uh, before each number. Next po ay yung ating test 3. So, they're going to answer the given question. So, the question for this is, as a grade 5 pupil, how could you help in protecting and, protecting and conserving estuaries and intertidal zone? Why is it needed to protect them? So, yan. So, para dito sa test 3 na to, so, depende na lang po sa teacher kung paano... Uh, i-grade, i-rubric, no? Uh, kasi, uh, pwedeng magkaiba-iba ang sagot dito. So, answers may vary. So, ito po yung key to correction. And, ayan. So, dito mapapansin nyo from 21 to 25, ang ilagay ko ay answers may vary. So, pwede magkaiba-iba kasi nga, essay siya or explanation siya. So, ito yung TOS or Table of Specification. So, yan. Po, so, yan po ang four written works natin sa Science Fight. So, nawa po ay makatulong po ito sa inyo. So, kita-kits po muli sa susunod na video. Thank you and God bless.